a sad moment that we have to be here as we approach the holidays, trying to appeal to the conscience of those in power to make life better for you and for your children and your family. It is difficult. I don't know what prevailing wages be. I don't know how much that is an hour. Somebody has to tell me because I cannot continue to hear prevailing wages and if those, when you get those prevailing wages, are you able to afford the so-called affordable housing that is being built in this city? I don't think so. We need prevailing wages. We passed the law for minimum wage. It's only $15 an hour, okay? At the end of the year, it's $30,000. But under the city plan for uh, 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 housing, you need to make $50,000. That's what makes sense, does it? So, we're appealing, I with my colleague from the state legislature, we're appealing to the conscience of Andrew Cuomo. Andrew Cuomo is a great guy, I like him. I know him since he was 20 years old, and he was practically starving, trying to get her father, his father a job as governor, so he can later on get a job. Okay, there's a lot of history here. However, he's done some good work. He said a hundred, about a hundred volunteers, maybe thousands of Con Edison workers to help us in Puerto Rico on Hurricane Maria. So we thank you, Governor Cuomo. We thank you, uh, Con Edison. However, however, you were able to do that, you should be able to listen to the union workers and their leaders as they request, they request a fair wage so they can provide for the family. 32! PJ! 32! PJ! In conclusion, wait, in conclusion, I am parking legally back there, but I park illegally for who? For 32! PJ! 32! PJ! That's it. Good afternoon, I'm Assemblywoman Natalia Fernandez coming from the Bronx all the way down. we get what you deserve. You are hardworking people. You have families. You want to help your community. We can only do that if we are treated fairly. Con Edison has the money. We know they're big. They can yeah, do this. We need to make sure that they listen to us and we will not shut up until we get what we deserve. Yes. So, with that, one more time. 32. Yeah. 32. Yeah. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Come on. Good afternoon, everyone. Yeah. So Con Ed's office is in my district. So we've been there numerous times. We need to tell them the message is that every worker deserves decent pay, overtime, health care, and benefits. And to hear every day that people don't have any benefits, can't take care of their family, don't get the support that they need, is not kind of company that we want to support. Con Ed gets so much of our government dollar so much money from all of us. And the message is clear The Con Ed, whether the governor signs this or not, and we know the governor has to sign it, but Con Ed needs to do the right thing right now. Yay! Make sure so that all their subcontractors pay living wages, provide benefits, and if they can't, they can't reflect the New York values we believe in, and they can't be the company that supports all of the New Yorkers. So we're here with you today. We're going to encourage the governor to sign the bill, and we ensure once the governor does, we're going to have a celebration and tell Con Ed to do the right thing. Thank you, 32 DJ. Thanks for being here. 32. DJ. Thank you. Good afternoon, everybody. You know, workers, every worker, deserves a family sustaining wage and deserves to be treated fairly at work and to have all the benefits that workers working at the best employers get to have. But the workers who work for Con Ed and who work for the contractors that Con Ed hires do not make anywhere near that kind of wages and benefits and are not treated with that kind of fairness. So we want to fix that. And the Assembly and the Senate in Albany passed a bill to 
and utility workers and the contract and the workers for their contractors to add those workers to the prevailing wage law. Yeah. And that would be an enormous step forward for real fairness for these working families. Now all we need is for Governor Cuomo sometime between now and the end of the year to sign that bill into law. Yeah. Yeah. So let's make him make sure he knows who's here. 32. De la señorita Jenny Hernández de la 32 PJ, miembro. I want to say thank you everyone come today here support to the collect employees. I know it's most important every employee in New York City have the living wage. Why say that? I know what happened when you don't have a good job, you don't have good benefit. You sometimes go to the street, you don't have food over the table. This city every day is most expensive. Everything, transportation, food, housing, the rent, everything increased. And these people need, have the right, you and me have at this time. The prevailing wage is not privilege, it's a right. At least in Union City, in Union Town. And these people now fight, please, brother and sister, don't keep it up. No, go together with these guys and until then. Almost sign the law. It is necessary. No, you gotta enjoy the prevailing wage and the benefits like you and me. Today and for one time. Thank you for coming and remember. One union. I'm gonna win! I'm gonna win! I'm gonna win! Uh Mr. Cuomo, can you hear us? Can you hear us?